Tui, good to see you. So 35% um, growth you've been pushing. Um, I think about eight times forward revenue is where you're trading. But what, what are customers demanding perhaps that's different or what's the use case um, for the software that's different in this period? Is it more tilted toward efficiency? Yeah, so it definitely is. The, uh, I've been spending a tremendous amount of time on the road lately with our customers. And the focus today is, is to drive efficiencies into the business. So first and foremost, adopting a platform like Procore gives them the ability to basically run more efficient businesses. Uh, but beyond that, there's a, there's a significant focus on pre-construction because you can imagine during the construction process, if you make mistakes up front, they actually cost you a lot downstream. So focusing on pre-construction and then leveraging data from a platform like Procore enables our customers to run better businesses and to actually deliver better outcomes. Now, it seems like a lot of commercial construction is starting to slow down infrastructure spending overall, though pretty strong. So as customers try to balance that, is it important for them to be able to figure out time to value? Is that a calculation that they can do with the spend uh, up front on Procore? Are you pressured uh, to move to more consumption in order to enable that? So the, the, so the industry definitely is going from analog to digital and it's very inefficient today. So uh, it makes a ton of sense, you know, today for a customer, for a prospect to become a customer of Procore because of the efficiencies that we drive. But one thing that you did say early in that question was our customers run diversified portfolios. So even though they're maybe struggling in one particular sector like housing, a lot of our customers have multiple segments that they serve. So they have, they're very diversified and they are not, they're not focused on one particular sector. So what do you do with your own cost to be able to lean into that growth and keep it going in yeah. a downturn? Is it more sales and marketing spend? Is it more partners, uh, either large technology companies or ISVs within the industry that you have to team up with? It's, it's kind of all across the board. We have, uh, we, we, are, uh, we have a mantra at Procore, efficient growth. So we're focusing very heavily on efficiencies while maintaining our growth. Uh, but it does take all of those levers and more in order for you know, us to be successful. The, uh, also, we run a global business. So uh, different markets, you have to apply different uh, techniques in order to have your go-to-market be effective. So uh, we have a very uh, comprehensive go-to-market strategy globally. It's interesting. You mentioned housing, but one thing we're, we're quite curious about is the impact of, say, the infrastructure spending bill. Uh, you talk about mm -hmm. uh, net new organic customers in the quarter. Are you seeing that sort of that spread diversify? And do you think the policy is driving some of it? Yeah. So, uh, again, the best mental model is uh, there are lots of sectors and uh, infrastructure uh, is definitely a big piece of it. Uh, and so, yes, our customers that do infrastructure as well as other sectors are focusing more and more on infrastructure because they have the one point two trillion dollar uh, infrastructure bill that came out is really going to help kind of hyper start that segment. Uh, so, yeah, our customers are, are naturally gravitating towards that, uh, which is also great for Procore because those projects tend to be very large and long term.